This is one point lesson on blending mode. If you are a beginner, you may not know which mode to use and when. Let's learn how to use it while actually using it. Don't try to learn them all from the beginning, but master the following three. Multiply, screen, and overlay in addition to normal mode. Let's use the rainbow squares to see how blending mode works. It's in the normal mode. First of all, let's try multiply. You can see that the color gets darker as you apply colors. Next is screen. You can see how the colors become brighter as they are applied. This is used to add highlights to the picture. It is mainly used for finishing. The last one is overlay. It darkens the dark areas and lightens the light areas. In other words, it adds contrast to the picture. Use the opacity bar in the layers palette to adjust the color depth and brightness. Now you know the difference between the three main blending modes. There are three layers with different color index. Place a new layer on top of the background blue index layer. The newly introduced layer is in normal mode from the beginning. I'm using a transparent watercolor leaf brush. The brush was imported from an external source of Clip Studio Paint for free. Let's draw a borderline pattern of black leaves on a green color base. In normal mode, the paint color does not change. In normal and multiply mode, you can see the colors as they are. Therefore, these two blending modes are basically used for drawing. Other blending modes may result in unexpected color changes. Create another layer in normal mode. Draw the ground in the foreground with brown and blue paint. An interesting background has been created. Let's paint the puppy. Create a new layer on top of the orange layer. Set the blending mode to multiply. Take the darker orange from the color wheel and paint the puppy with the G pen. The more you paint, the darker the color will become. This is a feature of the multiply mode. You can use this mode to add layers of paint and shadows. Multiply the color of the layer underneath with the color of the layer you are setting up. After merging, the color will be darker than the original. Let's highlight the puppy. Create a new layer and set the blending mode to screen. Light yellow color is applied and the fur becomes brighter. Create another new layer and change the blending mode to screen. Paint the highlights of the glass cup in the same way. We can paint it with a green or purple color to make it look brighter. This is what screen mode is all about. Create a new layer in overlay mode on top of the green leaf layer. Use a brighter green to lighten the popping leaves. Add a little shadow with the blue brush. Add a depth shadow with the dark brush. In this way, the overlay mode adds contrast to the image. Create a single independent picture on the top layer. Layer, merge visible to new layer. Mark the completed picture with a red index. 
Create a new layer on top of the newly created picture and put it in overlay mode. Let's draw the light from the sky and the puppy's shadow. Selection area, lasso. Surround the sky, the sea, and the puppy's lighted areas. Paint yellow with a G pen. Cancel the selection and erase the unnecessary parts with the eraser. You can see the effect when you turn it on and off. It looks like the yellow light is pouring from the upper left. In the same way, use lasso to surround the puppy in the lower right corner that is in the shadow. Paint it purple. Adjust the shading with the eraser and you are done. Blending modes are considered to be difficult. After checking, all I can find are sample images of each blending mode and difficult explanations. I don't really know when to use which blending mode. I think most people are like this. There are 28 modes in total, even professional illustrators are not familiar with all modes. Today, I introduced the three basic blending modes. Let's learn to use these three first to improve our illustration skills. Thank you for watching. This is Mio Chan. I'll see you soon.